This is Ton API, a powerful API service that lets you build dApps and custom blockchain tools on the Ton blockchain. Now, whether you're looking for real-time transaction data, wallet activity, or just a simple way to interact with the Ton blockchain, Ton API has you covered. It's fast, it's reliable, and comes with a generous free tier, making it accessible to both new and experienced developers. In this video, I'll show you just how easy it is to use Ton API by building something real with it, and I'll do it live. We'll create a Telegram bot that tracks Ton wallets, displays their latest transactions, and sends a notification the moment something new happens. You can think of it as a lightweight version of popular wallet tracker bots you've seen in the Ton and Solana ecosystems, but built from scratch in just minutes. To build it, here's what we'll need. An IDE, like Visual Studio Code, Python, Telegram app and Botfather, and of course, Ton API. So, let's get started. The first thing to do is to download our IDE and install it. I'll be working with Visual Studio Code for this video. Then, we will also need to install Python. And once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and open up Botfather on my Telegram app. Then, I'll create a new bot, give it a name and a username, and now we have a public link to our bot and a bot token to control this bot. Let's head back to Visual Studio Code and start a new project. Now, inside that project, I'll open a Python file, and this is where the magic will happen. Let's start by heading to our terminal and installing some dependencies we'll need. We will use the Python Package Manager, pip, to install the Python Telegram bot library and requests. Now, the Python Telegram bot library will allow us to build and manage our bots, and with requests, we can make HTTP calls to Ton API to get transaction data from the Ton blockchain. Let's run this, and once it is done, let's head back to our Python file. Let's import some modules from the Python Telegram bot library. These modules will help us control our bots. Let's also import requests and the date time module as well to get better formatted timestamps from our bots. Next, let's set up some constants. The first is going to be our API token, which we got from Botfather. Then, let's create the Ton API URL, which is going to be an endpoint that we will use to get wallet events. We can find this endpoint on tonapi.io under the REST API, Accounts, Get Events section, and you'll find the right endpoint right here. Back in our code, let's now format the content of our URL this way. Finally, let's create this dictionary to link each Telegram chat to the wallet it's tracking and the last transaction ID we saw. Now, let's prepare our start command. This will act as a simple welcome message and a small guide whenever someone first opens the bot. Next, let's code our track command. This will let the bot user enter in a ton wallet address, and we save that along with the chat ID in our watched wallet dictionary so we know which wallet to monitor. Now, we need to create a scheduler. This will run in the background every minute and check through the tracked wallet, get the latest event and compare it to the last one we saw. We will now make a GET request to turn API and get the most recent transaction. If we've seen it already, we skip. Otherwise, we keep going. We update the stored transaction ID and extract the first action from the event. Now, if the action is a ton transfer, we grab the amount, which is usually in nanotons, 
and divide it by 1 billion to get the exact ton value. We can then convert the Unix timestamp into a human readable version using the date time module. And finally, we build out a nicely formatted message to the user with the transaction details. If anything fails like a bad wallet address or a network issue, we can catch this error and keep the bot running. Now in the main function, we create our bot using the API token, we add the two command handlers, start and track, and then we schedule our job to run every 60 seconds. Then we call the run polling command to start the bot. Lastly, this block ensures that the bot exits cleanly if you press Ctrl C in the terminal as it runs locally. Now we can run our bot on Visual Studio Code and then head to Telegram to test it out. I'll start the bot, enter a wallet address, and wait for a few seconds. And just like that, we get a real-time transaction alert from the wallet we're tracking. Ton API handles all the blockchain work behind the scenes, and our bot stays clean and lightweight. Now this was built with less than 100 lines of Python code and it's just scratching the surface of what Ton API can do. Whether you're building bots, dashboards, dApps, or automation tools, Ton API makes it easy. Head over to tonapi.io to get started today and bring your ideas to life on Ton.